okay so at least the inbound process is clear what is inbound process oh sir 14th of october okay so basically kai na जनरली असत प्लांट्स ओके को इंडस्ट्री घया फूड इंडस्ट्री और यो यो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री करेक्ट सम इंडस्ट्रीज आर लाइक काइंड ऑफ रिटेल सम आर लाइक लाइक डूइंग द ऑनलाइन बिजनेसेस बट अगेन दे नीड सम स्पेस फॉर द स्टोरेज करेक्ट जे प्लांट्स असतात जे वेअर हाऊस असतात वेअर हाऊस काय एवढं क्लिअर आहे वेअर हाऊस कन्सेप्ट क्लिअर आहे व्हॉट इज वेअर हाऊस प्लांट बघितला आहे सगळ्यांनी फिजिकली अदरवाईज व्हर्च्युअल दिस इज द व्हर्च्युअल दिस इज हाऊ द प्लांट लुक्स लाईक करेक्ट इन द प्लांट actually such storage bins will be there inside the plant this is one of the plant correct the plant mm-hmm. might look like this baharun tumhala he asa dista shed vagare correct so here you can see the production lines of the manufacturing correct so inside this this particular worker is working on some applying maybe <coughs> brake wires or something right so similar things will be there this is the robotic plant they are doing the welding they are applying some some kind of activity correct inside the plant they are doing some painting kind of activities correct this is also one of the production line of the tata motors correct so to manufacture this bike at least 20 to 25000 raw materials are required including small screw to your chassis to manufacture one four wheeler minimum 50 to 60000 products are required 40 se 50000 small large products aplyala lagtat correct fuel pump zala tumcha engine zala this logo uh, then carburetor coolant oil coolant pump fuel pump steering zala dashboard zala chassis zali bonnet zala tumche doors zale uh this uh, uh side glass tires correct then your uh this thing fog lamp correct ashe 40 te 50000 parts lagtat to manufacture one four wheeler okay so he je part said basically why we are implementing ewm is these parts we will have to store somewhere in the warehouse correct the bike manufacture karaychi that four wheeler okay ek apan kaam karu apan thew ek central point to manufacture this plant uh, this car okay <coughs> okay so that will be our central point for the discussion correct so point here is to manufacture this car minimum 40 to 50000 raw materials semi finished goods are required 40 se 50000 small mid size large parts are required okay ata 40 se 50000 parts jeva apan bolto ata he production karto apan aplya warehouse madhe टाटा मोटर्स प्रोडक्शन करेल त्यांच्या प्लांट मध्ये वेअर हाऊस मध्ये प्लांट इज नथिंग बट युअर वेअर हाऊस इन शॉर्ट 
तर वेअर हाऊस मध्ये हे चाळीस पन्नास हजार प्रोडक्ट ठेवायचे कुठे एक्सक्यूज मी सॉरी वेअर हाऊस मध्ये चाळीस पन्नास हजार प्रोडक्ट ठेवायचे कुठे सो दिस इज हाऊ द वेअर हाऊस लुक्स लाईक ऍक्च्युली इट्स अ व्हेरी लार्ज एरिया ओके अँड लॉट ऑफ एन नंबर ऑफ स्टोरेज बिन्स विल बी देअर करेक्ट सो मे बी हिअर वी विल स्टोर द साईड ग्लास करेक्ट इन दिस एरिया वी विल स्टोर दॅट सम काइंड ऑफ स्क्रूज इन दिस एरिया वी विल मेंटेन सम ऑदर प्रोडक्ट्स इन दिस एरिया वी विल मेंटेन सम काइंड ऑफ लाईक लाईक टेल लॅम्प्स हिअर वी विल मेंटेन द हेड लॅम्प्स हिअर वी विल मेंटेन द फॉग लॅम्प्स करेक्ट दिस इज जस्ट वन ऑफ द स्टोरेज टाईप दिस एंटायर एरिया इज वन स्टोरेज टाईप बेसिकली करेक्ट वेअर वी विल मेंटेन काइंड ऑफ सम सम प्रोडक्ट्स बेसिकली एवढं क्लिअर आहे ही कन्सेप्ट क्लिअर आहे हॅलो येस सर ओके येस येस ओके सो टू मॅन्युफॅक्चर दिस कार वी नीड फोर्टी टू फोर्टी फायव्ह थाउजंड प्रोडक्ट्स टू मॅन्युफॅक्चर वन ओनली सिंगल कार आय एम टेलिंग ओके नाव इज टाटा मोटर्स मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग द दिस टेल लॅम्प्स हेड पॅ हेड लॅम्प्स नो दे डोंट मॅन्युफॅक्चर टेल लॅम्प्स हेड लॅम्प्स देन बॅटरीज करेक्ट इन दॅट केस वॉट दे विल डू सो लेट्स टेक अन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ युअर टेल लॅम्प हेड लॅम्प टायर देन वॉटेल्स युअर डॅशबोर्ड फ्युएल पंप लॉट ऑफ ओके लॉट ऑफ सच असे चाळीस ते पन्नास हजार प्रोडक्ट्स आपल्याला लागतील आता हे स्वतः मॅन्युफॅक्चर नाही करत टेल लॅम्प हेड लॅम्प करेक्ट देर विल बी सम ऑदर काइंड ऑफ मिंडा इज देअर इफ एव्हरी वन इज अवेअर अबाउट दिस इंडस्ट्री देन देन सिमिलरली लॉट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज आर देअर ऍक्च्युली करेक्ट जनरल मोटर्स टू मॅन्युफॅक्चर सम थिंग्स देन दे प्रोक्युअर द डोअर्स फ्रॉम द टाटा स्टील or jsw correct these are their vendors correct and the finished product they sell sold to the customers they sell the finished product final product final product is your car they sell to the dealers now in pune we have concord correct then your bu bandari then your sai motors is there correct so these are the customers correct basically this tata motor wants to uh, produce 100 cars for example Tata Motor wants to produce 100 ka- cars. So, those 40,000 products are applied to one car. Into 100. Correct? And the stock of the Yodi stock is not going to be applied to the So, here in this case, we will require uh, 100 ek car to be applied to the car. So, 100 into 2 means 200 lamps are applied to the car. Correct? Head lamp is applied to the car. 100 into 2. फर्स्ट टू हंड्रेड पीस आपल्याला ऑर्डर करावे लागतील राईट सिमिलरली एका गाडीला चार टायर लागतात हंड्रेड इंटू फोर फोर हंड्रेड पीस ऑफ टायर्स आपल्याला मॅन्युफॅक्चर ऑर्डर करावे लागतील राईट दिस इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड पीस दिस इज ऑल्सो हंड्रेड पीस करेक्ट सो याची एक पर्चेस ऑर्डर वेअर हाऊसला प्लांटला बनवावी लागेल दिस पर्चेस ऑर्डर Tata Motors will send to the Minda that I want to purchase 200 pieces of tail lamp. I want to purchase 200 pieces of uh, head lamp. 
करेक्ट सो टाटा मोटर्स इज सेंडिंग द परचेस ऑर्डर टू द वेंडर वेंडर इज नाउ एक्सटर्नल कंसेप्ट दिस परचेस ऑर्डर इज युअर एक्सटर्नल डॉक्युमेंट कारण तो जो प्रोडक्ट आहे तो बाहेरून येणार आहे वेअर हाऊस मध्ये राईट सो दॅट इज नथिंग बट युअर इनबाउंड प्रोसेस फॉर द इनबाउंड देर विल बी वन परचेस ऑर्डर ओके देर विल बी वन परचेस ऑर्डर दॅट इज युअर एक्सटर्नल डॉक्युमेंट दॅट डॉक्युमेंट वी विल सेंड टू द वेंडर करेक्ट बट कोणता पार्ट कुठं ठेवायचा दॅट इज युअर इंटरनल डिसिजन हा वेअर हाऊसचा डिसिजन राहील राईट प्लांटचा डिसिजन राहील की कोणता प्लांट कोणता पार्ट कुठं ठेवायचा करेक्ट सो फॉर द इंटरनल अलाइनमेंट वी नीड वन इंटरनल डॉक्युमेंट दॅट इज युअर इनबाउंड डिलिव्हरी this inbound delivery details we do not share to anyone out of the uh, warehouse minna la kai ghena dena nahi minna la apan sangnar nahi ki to product kuthe thevaycha this is the internal decision so this is the internal document basically inside the warehouse okay ani inbound delivery pasun apla kaam start hota ewm madhe evda clear hai एवड क्लि है गौरव अमित ओंकार ओके सो फॉर दिस इनबाउंड डिलिवरी सो अर्ली इयर देर वॉज टू वर्जन ऑफ द वेर हाउसिंग सी बेसिकली वॉट वी आर डूइंग इन द वेर हाउसिंग सीस्टीम विच प्रोडक्ट शुड स्टोर इन विच एरिया like last time we have seen one one concept called the cold storage right ice cream asel kiwa in four wheel and industry we have one product called coolant correct we don't store the coolant at very high temperature it should be at the normal temperature correct there is a ac gas is there that also we cannot store at very high temperature that we will have to store at low temperature correct but has a warehouse hai na ya warehouse madhe na basically different different areas astat okay are kota gela yes so this is just one of the storage area okay this is again one of the storage area this the 61 63 65 67 hey je number this said na this is again one of the storage area okay this is your storage area this is how the gr zone looks like actually the screen nahi dikhta de tum ji okay is it the case for everyone yes or no pate okay now yes is visible it is visible sir so this is actually this is how the gr zone looks like actually in the warehouse it's not like you know, only one or two products will be there lot of uh, uh, products will be available in your gr zone correct and this is one of the door correct this is door 1 this is door 2 this is door 3 this is 4 5 6 correct ashe bharpur doors asat actually madhe warehouse la there can be more than 100 doors also रोमनियाचा एक वेर हाऊस होता त्याला मोर दॅन आय गेस टू हंड्रेड अँड एटीन डोर्स काहीतरी होते एक रोमनियाचा जो एक प्रोजेक्ट होता आमचा दोनशे अठरा डोर्स होते ओके इट डिपेंड्स अँड अँड रिसेंटली दे वॉज वन क्लायंट ऍक्च्युली ऑन द स्पीड 
त्या वेअर हाऊसला फक्त एकच डोअर होता फॉर इनबाउंड ऍज वेल ऍज फॉर द आउटबाउंड एक मोठा एरिया होता आणि ओनली वन डोअर वॉज देअर सो दॅट डिपेंड्स ऍक्च्युली ऑन द क्लाय ओके सो हिअर दिस इज द जी आर झोन वन एरिया दिस इज जी आर झोन टू एरिया जी आर झोन थ्री जी आर झोन फोर जी आर झोन फाईव्ह करेक्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द स्टोरेज टाईप सो बेसिकली हिअर वी नीड टू डिवाइड द वेअर हाऊस बेस्ड ऑन अवर रिक्वायरमेंट बेस्ड ऑन द क्लायंट रिक्वायरमेंट बिकॉज दे कॅनॉट स्टोअर ऑल द थिंग दिस डॅशबोर्ड्स then some chemicals are also required like paint correct then uh, paint che pan bharpur prakar astat first time pe kai uh, primer vagare marta tala right primer zala nantar te paint marta nantar ajun kai chemicals asil tanche correct tar apan chemical ani he lamp we will not store uh, together right केमिकल टायर किंवा केमिकल सोबत आपले स्टीलचे जे डोअर्स असतात तुमचे डोअर्स हे आपण सोबत स्टोअर नाही करू शकत अदरवाईज या पार्ट्सवर कोरोजन वगैरे येईल करेक्ट टू इम्प्रूव्ह द इफिशियन्सी ऑफ द वेअर हाऊस वॉट वी विल डू वी विल डिवाईड द वेअर हाऊस इन डिफरंट डिफरंट एरिया ओके दिस इज हाऊ द वेअर हाऊस लुक्स लाईक हा वेअर हाऊस आपण डिवाईड करून देऊ करेक्ट सो दॅट डिव्हिजन ऑफ युअर वेअर हाऊस इज नथिंग बट युअर स्टोरेज टाईप करेक्ट द डिव्हिजन ऑफ युअर वेअर हाऊस इज नथिंग बट युअर स्टोरेज टाईप स्टोरेज टाईप कन्सेप्ट क्लिअर आहे दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्टोरेज टाईप दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्टोरेज टाईप दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्टोरेज टाईप for the raw material for the semi finished goods your gr zone always remember one thing each and every thing where that product has to be stored in the warehouse is your storage type it can be anything even if you can see here the yard if you have seen the yard so normally this is how the yard looks like actually okay and here you can see one more diagram so here there are a lot of trucks you can see correct so this parking space of the truck is also one of the storage type and the storage bin okay and here you can see lot of doors are there these are the inbound doors these are the outbound doors for this pair of correct so this door is again one of the storage type and we need to create one storage bin correct so each and everything in the warehouse is your storage type and storage bin okay so generally we do send the purchase order to the vendors that i want to order this many pieces for this product okay and after that it's warehouse decision that which storage type will be used by which uh, particular product so we can uh, define like this for the raw materials we have one se separate area for the semi finished for the finished we have separate area 
for the cold items we have separate area for the overflow area we have separate area hot storage chemicals hazardous goods right so these are nothing but your storage types so let's take an example we have one storage type for the lamps only for lamps okay okay so here what we can do so let's take an example in the raw material storage type we are storing raw materials so that raw material storage type we can define in different different sections so this is your lamp section and again Excuse me. Your window glass is also your raw material. Then your fuel pump. Okay, so we can have one more section like glass section in the same store or same storage type. Correct. That means we just further divide that particular storage type in different different sections. This concept is clear storage type and storage section and inside the storage section we do create the storage bins this is actually how the storage bins looks like this is one bin this is one bin this is one bin this is one bin there are n number of storage bins are there actually in the warehouse okay so let's come back to the our our uh, actual point so we will create one purchase order that data voters will send one purchase order to, to the vendor okay and with reference to that one inbound delivery will get created okay one inbound delivery will get created and if it's ewm managed then that delivery will get distributed to your ewm system extended warehouse management system System landscape explain Karachi Karase. Is that clear? Decentralized and embedded Hana? Yes, sir. It is clear. That is clear, right? Kauro, Umkar? Yes, sir. It is clear. Okay. So, here in this case, one inbound delivery will, get, will be there. That inbound delivery will get distributed uh, to the EWM system. Okay. And in EWM system, that inbound delivery will be available. Okay, in EWM system, that inbound delivery will be available. Now, now why we are using EWM? Because we wanted to tell to the system that see, actually, as the for in 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 one of the manufacturing industry actually there was more than 50 lakhs products was there actually pannas lakh materials hote ek recently uh, ek project hota more than 50 lakhs actually okay so can you imagine that that how uh, like like uh, that that uh, basically that product we need to manage in the warehouse Okay, number of products are 50 lakhs. Ata ek product daha quantity madhe pana sale, ani shambar quantity madhe pana sale kiwa thousand quantities madhe pana sale. Correct. So tire, dashboard, chemical, steel doors. Tashi panna slack materials hote. Ata dashboard chhe shambar quantity rahu shakte, chemicals chhe ten thousand quantity rahu shakte, right? so can you imagine that that how they are going to manage all these things daha 15 20 25 50 products apan manually ek karu shakto excel work kiwa kuda tari so to manage this much number of products correct now here in this case we cannot uh, remind that that this product should uh, store at this location in that case 
one system will be required where the system will suggest us that you have to store this product in this area you have to store this product in this your raw material you have to store the dashboards in your semi finished uh, storage type you have to store the chemicals or the paints in your chemical area correct in this case one system will be required correct because there can be more than uh, like uh, even even more than 1 lakh storage bins will also be there okay so for that is the reason so here basically the system will tell us that this product has to be stored here this product has to be stored on this location this product has to be stored at this location for this purpose we need the system so this is just one of the system awm is just one of the warehousing solution where system can tell us that this product has to be stored over here correct so document type item type mapping is clear for everyone auro omkar do you want me to explain that document type and item type mapping yes sir yes sir okay so basically this is one of the document okay this is just one of the document inbound delivery is just one of the document so how we can identify because there can be lot of documents actually in the warehouse correct production order is there sales order purchase order correct inbound delivery outbound delivery physical inventory document there are lot of documents are there even even in the purchase order we have different different types subcontracting your consignment different different types are there in the purchase order as well so how we can identify what kind of document it is based on your document type and similarly for the items we have item types correct so one thing is clear that we can, we need to create So when you will create one uh, inbound delivery, so in the header, in the administration, you can see the do document type of the inbound delivery. The document type is EL. That means it's a inbound delivery. Correct. So here you can see the different different document types. DOG, BIG. These are for the goods moment, inbound delivery goods moment, DOG for the outbound delivery goods moment. Correct. EL is for your inbound delivery. Similarly, we have uh, LF for your outbound delivery. Here you can see LF. Correct. This is your advanced returns delivery, returns order basically. Correct. So these are your different different document types. Based on the document type, we will be able to understand. Okay, this is this type of de delivery. So EL means this is the normal standard delivery, inbound delivery, correct? But this document type is in your ERP system. This document type is in your ERP system, correct? So in the EWM system, we will have to tell to the system that because again these are two different different system basically. Okay. We need to tell to the system that this is my inbound delivery. And again, we will need one more document type in the on the EWA, uh, EWM side, right? So we need to tell to the system that 
if any document is coming from ERP side with this document type with, with EL document type then EWM system has to create INB document type this we will maintain in your interfaces ERP integration delivery processing here we have map document types what we have maintained for the EL INB if anything coming as a EL from ERP system EWM system should create as a INB correct so that is the reason here you can see the INB the inbound delivery is created with INB document type clear and similarly similarly oh here we can see the item type for all the line items one item type will be there ELN correct so for the ELN similar to document type we need to maintain the item types EL plus ELN is your IDLV correct with same document type the inbound delivery is created in your EWM system right Can you see this IDLB? So this is the document type, uh, sorry, item type for the inbound delivery. Okay. Any doubt in document type and item type mapping? Out here, Dobro, Omkar, Urvashi. Is it clear now? The clear, eh? But take the foot the hacker the update shortly. Okay, okay. So basically, uh, one concept is clear that how we can identify which document it is because we have a lot of documents in the warehouse, inbound delivery, outbound yes, delivery, really. purchase order, sales order. So how we can identify in the system that which kind of document it is based on your document type and item type. And can we get any? Correct. So document type is I guess clear inbound delivery outbound delivery for item type for normal inbound delivery it's ELN for the chemicals there can be the different item type correct for chemical maybe I will use uh, TPOP or maybe some uh, different item type maybe I will use possible right so in that case for that combination in the EWM system we will maintain some different uh, item type as well. So there might be the case the item type will be like uh, uh, it's IDLV for uh, normal inbound delivery. For chemical I will use uh, IDLC. Possible right? So what we need to do, so once once this delivery is created in your EWM system, ERP system, once this inbound delivery is created, for this combination of your plant and storage location, we have maintained one warehouse number, ERP warehouse number basically. Here you can see GA9, correct, we need to maintain one ERP warehouse number okay now we have we have, we have already told to the system that this is my ewm managed warehouse so that is the reason it will get distributed to your ewm system are you able to remember this setting we need to set this warehouse as ewm managed yes sir okay so the, uh, by using the distribution model 
in OL19, uh, OL19 we have created the distribution model, right? So by using the distribution model, the queues will get created actually first. Okay. And after that, if you want to see one minute, let me create one more delivery. I have stopped the queues actually okay uh, one more thing actually if you want to stop the queues okay now what I did here I have applied one parameter if debug QRFC in ACO3 you can maintain this parameter for the IDs so now this is X debugging uh, for QRFC here x means stop queue so i have stopped the queues correct so that's why it, was, it did not uh, execute it. the status is non-execution correct so such queue will be there actually okay and inside this queue uh, queue in the queue container all the details will be there okay and once you now let me uh, show you this inbound delivery will not be available in the AWS system. Okay. If you check this, this inbound delivery will not be available because it's in queue. SNQ2. Correct. Now let me try to execute this. Now the queue is executing. Yeah, it's gone. Now I, uh, when I will check. The queue will be available. Okay. So this is just one of the trick. If you want to take something, if you want to taste something, one of the option available is you can directly deregister the queue. But in that case, uh, if uh, there are 10 number of people are there, then the queues will get stopped for all the users, everything. Okay. But by using that if debug QRFC, you can stop the queues only for your ID. Okay. Anyways, so now the inbound delivery is now here available. So document type got determined based on your mapping. Item type got determined based on the ma mapping. Here. In the PPT, I have already provided the path for this mapping no need to change anything in this mapping okay it's already maintained okay so no need to change it's already there so please don't change uh, any mapping document type item type mapping okay so clear document type item type mapping Omkar? yes yes sir yes okay okay so now basically inside the warehouse there are different different processes are there one of the process is your inbound process one of the process is your outbound process correct internal movement correct now how we do identify the document documents based on the document type correct based on the document type we do identify the
documents now here we have inbound process outbound process internal movement correct how we can uh, identify the process document type is one thing document type is one thing but here we need one more thing that is your warehouse process type by looking into wpt i can tell that this is the inbound delivery this is for the outbound delivery correct because everyone is not having access to this inbound delivery je uh, warehouse madhe je worker kaam kartat na tanna access nahi hai this user don't know what is the document type for this delivery correct but on the rf he can see the wpt this user works on the wpt this user works on the wpt this resources okay what they know is the wpt warehouse process type they don't know what is the document type of the deliveries okay so here we need one wpt wpt is nothing but your warehouse process type so for inbound delivery it's 2010 1010 for outbound it's 2010 it's for the internal it's 3010 or in a simple language whatever the wpts are starting with your one series those are related to the uh, inbound two series are for the outbound three series are for the internal movements so if it's 1010 correct in the inbound delivery if it's 1010 then this user will get to know that this particular uh, uh, delivery is related to the inbound sometimes what what happens actually same area will be there for the gi zone as a uh, and the gr zone correct ata ha product anna customer la sell karaycha hai ha user gela tikda scan kela tikda tane wpt check kela then uh, he will get to know that okay this is for outbound i don't need to store this product back to the warehouse correct if they are using the same area due to the limitation of the warehouse the space shortage of the warehouse if they are using the same store area then how this user will get to know so wpt is one of the thing by looking into wpt that user will get to know that this uh, particular product is assigned to your inbound or outbound if it's inbound he will create the task and he will store the product to somewhere in the storage bin if it's in for the outbound he will simply leave that stock because this customer now uh, this resource now know that this product is meant to send out of the warehouse so clear what is wpt warehouse process type it's simply to mint the process we can understand what kind of process it is if wpt is my 1010 then it's a inbound if wpt is 2010 it's outbound okay process type what type of process it is correct it's a process type what type of process it is so for each process we do have one wpt warehouse process type okay and inside this wpt one activity will be there actually we just need to assign one activity so for the 1010 we will assign the put away activity right for 2010 we will assign the picking activity for 3010 we will assign the physical inventory uh, sorry internal movements activity intl correct any doubt in wpt warehouse process type in warehouse we have different different types of processes these are different different process types different different processes in the warehouse correct so 1010 is for inbound process this number is for inbound process this number is for outbound process so by looking into this number we will tell that okay this is inbound this is outbound correct so that particular concept is called the wpt warehouse process type any doubt in wpt
ओमकार गौरव डब्ल्यू पी टी कंसेप्ट इज क्लियर ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन योर नाउ दिस इज फॉर द इन बाउंड डिलीवरी वन जीरो वन जीरो बट हाउ सिस्टम विल नो सो वॉट वी विल डू हियर फॉर इन बाउंड डिलीवरी वॉट वी नो इट्स आई एन बी डॉक्यूमेंट टाइप इन ए डब्ल्यू एम इज आई एन बी एंड माई आइटम टाइप इज आई डी एल बी करेक्ट सो फॉर दिस कॉम्बिनेशन आई विल मेंटेन वन डब्ल्यू बी डी दैट इज योर वन जीरो वन जीरो करेक्ट दिस इज हाउ द सिस्टम विल डिटरमाइन द डब्ल्यू पी टी वेर ऑफ प्रोसेस टाइप बिकॉज वी नीड टू टेल टू द सिस्टम राइट If this is my inbound delivery, this is my uh, this is my document type, this is my item type, then it should trigger this WPT. Correct. So in the item type, actually you will be able to see the WPT. This is my warehouse process type one zero one zero. Correct. And this configuration is available in your data mine WPT. so various process type we can we need in inbound out outbound and internal so that will be available in your cross process setting in the various task so this is here you can define the wpt and this is how the determine uh, you can determine the wpt so what combination we have maintained for inb plus idlv it's 1010 clear and this is how the system determined this 1010 wpt okay clear wpt and determination of wpt yes okay so now there is one more concept called put away strategy now put away means to put that product in that location on the final location correct so if we want to put this product this product somewhere here <coughs> hey products happen theo to right that storage bin madhe correct so this process is nothing but put to put this product in the storage bin this is nothing but your put away okay so basically why we are using ewm because in my warehouse there are more than 50 lakh products now i want system to tell me that where to store this product correct atta just apan bagitle ikna right स्टोरेज टाइप या स्टोरेज टाइप या स्टोरेज सेक्शन तो जाए इफ मै दिस इज मै टेल लैम्प टेल लैम्प इज मै वन ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट टेल लैम्प आई विल स्टोर इन रॉ वन स्टोरेज टाइप इन लैम्प सेक्शन I will store this uh, tail lamp in draw one storage type. Correct. Now let's see how system will determine this draw one. Otherwise, let's give it as zero zero two zero draw one. Let's assume that zero zero two zero storage type is your draw one. Okay. So now what information system is having till now? System knows inbound delivery. document type plus item type system knows correct combination to that is your wpt correct so warehouse number system knows based on this combination now wpt system is already aware 
and we have one more concept called put away control indicator so let's take an example this is draw one here we have one control indicator that we need to maintain in product master strategies in storage type search here you can make your own put away control indicator okay so let's take an example this is 0020 let's take an example this is your 0020 put away control indicator So now what we need to do, we will just have to assign this put away control indicator in the product master. In warehouse data tab, here we have option to maintain put away control indicator. So for different different products, you can maintain different different put away control indicators. So for my 9122, for example, this is my tail lamp. I will maintain as 0020. Correct. For my fog lamp, let's suppose uh, this is my 9123 product and I want to store that product in 0030 area then your headlamp 9124 is the product number and that product I want to store in 0040 correct so these are your put away control indicators okay in this case these are your put away control indicators so based on your material in the inbound delivery the material will be there in the inbound delivery here you can see in the item uh, tab product number will be there correct and what we are telling to the system in the product master data if this is the product in my delivery correct then the put away indicator is this is this is the put away indicator 0020 correct if this is the product in the inbound delivery, I will store it in 0020 area, uh, 0020 indicator. And for this combination, for this combination, actually, we will define one put away strategy. For this combination my put away control indicator is 0020 my WPT warehouse process type is 1010 correct for this combination I will maintain one search sequence this search sequence is nothing but your storage type there will be different different storage types will be there so let me show you the search sequence Zero zero two zero we have maintained right. So in zero zero two zero I have maintained storage type as zero zero two zero. Correct. Clear. So for this combination I have put in one storage type. The storage type is nothing but your draw one. In system what we have created for raw one it's 0020 right so when you will go to the inbound delivery
so when you will go to the inbound delivery what storage type system is uh, determining 0020 it is determining right correct and if you want to see how it got determined here is the log here you can check the log Determine destination data start correct so here you can see which storage type search sequence has been found 0020 this is the storage type search sequence correct and as per your put away rule then uh, it will search for the section then it will search for the actual storage bin correct So this is how this storage pin is determined by the system. So the system will tell that you can put away this product to this storage pin in this storage type 0020 storage type. See for this 0020 is determined right. correct so let me try to change the put away control indicator for this product okay suppose now I have different product okay that I don't want to store in 0020 that product I want to store in different area so let me create one put away control indicator one more put away control indicator otherwise we will assign this 0050 but but we don't have actually storage pins in 0050 let me create one storage pin a uh, storage pin create kela kela doro Yes, I can see some storage pins in Zero zero three zero, right? Correct. So this is my put away control indicator now. Correct. I need to assign this. create one search sequence first
contain i need to assign the storage types for that search sequence I need to create one control indicator put away control indicator that I think I have already created this search sequence actually you can maintain directly here as well for the put away control indicator okay. and this is our final for my warehouse number GA09. What is my put away control indicator? We have just created 0030. What is my WPT? It's same. What is my uh, search sequence? It's 0030. Uh, I'm not able to hear you properly, Doro. बेटर इकड़ा इकड़ा चैट मध्य पिंक करना हेलो चैट मध्य पिंक कर नहीं तो मग माला कॉल कर शेड डायरेक्ट ठीक है सो नाउ वी हैव मेंटेन दिस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर द पुटअवे स्ट्रेटजी करेक्ट सो अर्लीयर जीरो जीरो टू जीरो वाज गेटिंग डिटरमाइन बट व्हाट आई विल डू so let's take an example i want to store that product the product is different and now i want to store in 0030 correct right? so i have just updated this 0030 for the put away control indicator And when you will refresh this delivery, so now can you see the storage type is different? now it's 0030 earlier it was determining 0020 now it is determining 0030 correct what we did we just changed the put away control indicator so this was first was maintained now what we did the warehouse number is same the wpt is also same the put away control indicator now it's 0030 and for that combination we have maintained 0030 storage type so similar to this for each product we can have different different uh, put away control indicators otherwise if we are maintaining same uh, different different products in the same storage type you can use same put away strategy same put away control indicator for different different products as well so let's take an example this tail lamp headlamp all kind of lamps if i want to store in same storage type then what i will do i will use the same put away control indicator same strategy for all the lamps uh, lamp products for dashboards and all those things i will have to define different uh, put away control indicator different storage type different search sequence and different search strategy clear
क्लियर इसमें गौरव डाउट वॉज वेन वी कैन यूज दिस क्वांटिटी क्लासिफिकेशन this is your stock type i guess just yes, stock type this is your party entered to dispose this is your hazard rating okay so when we can use these particular fields okay this was question from gaurav but gaurav you know uh, at this point it will be really difficult for you to understand these things okay this quantity classification uh, we can see like let's take an example okay let me give you one uh, example with your stock type okay let me give you one example with your stock type okay now for one of the vendor for the same tail lamp for the same tail lamp uh, two different vendors are say, uh, uh, sending this tail lamp one is your internal tata vendor and one is your external maybe minda minda industries or minda this is my internal company correct this is my minda so for the inbound delivery so i'm 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 uh, explaining you for the stock type okay stock type concept is i guess clear for everyone right so for the inbound delivery i will directly do uh, i will do it as unrestricted correct right? but for minda i want to do the quality check for minda i want to do the quality check so in that case the stock type here it will be q5 and here it will be for example f1 f1 or f2 here it will be q5 or q6 the stock type will be f1 f2 or q5 q6 so here you can see the stock type actually yes here it's f1 correct so for the inbound delivery if the stock type is f1 so maybe here for this combination we will maintain plus f1 correct if f1 is the stock type for this combination i will go to 0030 but my warehouse number is same my wpt is same correct my put away control indicator is also same but my stock type is q5 so in this case in this case i want my materials to store in 0031 okay if this is the combination if it's it is coming from internal vendor so that the stock type will be f1 so i will store in 0030 because i know this is my internal customer and uh, uh then a quality based quality provide ke liye but minda jo hai minda is my external vendor for minda i cannot trust on minda for minda the quality uh, that that uh, stock type will be q5 i want to do the quality check 
but before going to the quality check basically the thing is for the minda products i want to store in 0031 clear Doro. so similar to this actually we have already gone through one concept this quantity classification this is these are the, nothing but your pallets correct full pallet full pack less than full pack quantity classification correct so this quantity classification we will we can maintain with respect to this quantity classification we can maintain lot of n number of uh, permutation and combinations actually for the same uh, uh, entries for the same put away control indicator for the same WPT for the same stock again one more actually one more example with respect to your party and total dispose so party and total dispose is nothing but your plant now let's take an example you have one warehouse and two plant so here in this case, I will be having two part and title dispose. Correct. Right? So for first part and title dispose, I want to store in 0030. For second part and title dispose, I want to store in 0031. Clear? Goro? Gaurav, Omkar, Amit, okay. But that that will be very very uh, uh, deep concept. Don't don't go uh, that much deep actually. This will be enough. This uh, portable control indicator, your WPT, and your search sequence. That's it. At this point of time, don't don't think about all these things. Okay, you just focus on your WPT. Uh, your put away control indicator WPT and storage type cell segments that's it it's done so now clear how system determines the destination pin for the put away yes sir okay Omkar Gaurav Roshan Amit Samaste how subject Karumba Gaurav Yes, system mother karun baga. Jo pranta system mother karun ne bagnar to pranta kais ne. Create uh, two three products for each plant. I think plant is already ready for everyone. Create at least two three products actually. Okay, and just try to check maintain different different strategies actually. Okay, similar to this. Now now we have maintained for zero zero two zero 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 three zero. Correct. Just hmm. try to maintain for different different uh, strategies actually. ओके जो पर्यंत तुम्ही प्रॅक्टिकली सिस्टम मध्ये नाही करणार तोपर्यंत काहीच नाही समजणार हे मी 10 वेळ सांगितलं देन देन दैट दैट विल बी यूजलेस एक्चुअली जो पर्यंत तुम्ही करणार नाही तोपर्यंत काहीच नाही तोपर्यंत झिरो मग मी 10 वेळ सेम कॉन्सेप्ट एक्सप्लेन केली त्या दैट 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 विल नॉट मेक एनी सेंस एक्चुअली ओके Okay, similar to this, actually, tomorrow we will see the outbound process. Okay. Inbound, madhe kai doubt, kai problem? Sir, upon uh, storage type, madhe jawa mix storage allowed karto. Hmm. Jawa mix storage, manche bean level la, hota ki pakta storage type level la hota mix storage. Okay. Okay, yes. So basically when we are going to the storage type, where is storage type? Yes. We have multiple kind of mixed storage actually. Zartu properly zar bagitla na storage type made. So mix stock type, mix owners, mix party internal dispose. Correct. This is the uh, inspection doors. This this is your what is this special stock something? Yes, mixed special stocks. Correct. Unit of measure. Upon ERP madhe unit of measure de to products na. 
yes so this n number of mixed combinations you can allow on the storage type level so yes it will be applicable for that particular storage pin okay no means uh, if we have only one storage pin and in that if we try to put away to different material then it is possible or not yes 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 that this is this is possible mixed okay. products are possible mixed ho types is possible so can you see this mixed storage yes okay so uh Anil, what you can do just click on this mix storage and press f1 okay and here you can see the different different options actually okay just read this information and if you go to this uh, f4 here you can see what kind of mix do you want to allow correct so mix storage without any limitation so in this case all kind of mix is allowed like different different products you can uh, mix different different batches you can mix correct if you select this then uh, same product and same uh, several non mixed statues uh, with the same product and batch the batch and product say uh, should be same but it will allow the uh, different different issues okay then several issues with different batches here in this case product will be same product will be your headlamp but we do have the batch number right for uh, each product we do have one uh, batches right <coughs> batch one batch two batch three same product different different batches are allowed So this is the one like only one HU will be allowed in one bin. Correct. That's why I, uh, I I told everyone actually just go in the system, click on this. Now this is automatic uh, warehouse trust creation at GR. Just play, press F1. You will get lot of details actually. So print the to me system mother zone here karna nai to print the nai possible system knowledge gain karna possible nai. Just go to this and press F1. You will get details of what is your identification point. Correct. At least important jet na. Manje char paas storage type kya random. Ani ja field change hota hai. So he field change hui, he field change hui. Storage behavior change hui. HU requirement, maximum number of pins, right? then you can form put away ya goshti na change hota ratil at least ja goshti change hota hai correct at least try to see the information of those particular things so friend to me kya goshti nahi karna because you know it's really uh, it's it's very impossible actually to cover all the things each and everything storage type then we have wpt warehouse process type correct you have warehouse order creation rule you have well management yard management to go in each and everything it's hardly impossible actually to cover each and every topic and it will take more than one year to complete all this all these things okay so whenever you will get time the important fields i'm actually i'm uh, covering Correct, like like your uh, storage type role is there. Correct, this storage type role is there. Storage behavior, then your HU requirement. Correct, this confirm put away indicator, put away rule is there. The ID point in the last lecture we have seen this uh, particular tick. Correct, then warehouse task generic. Last time we have seen this warehouse task generic. Correct. So at least just try to cover the important topics. No need to see actually each and everything at this level. For the initial level, at least whatever the uh, things I'm telling you, like like warehouse stars generic, I have I told you last time, right? At least go there and see what is the importance of that particular field. 
okay just press f1 and you will get the details actually okay so any 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 other questions